Greetings programs. It's a, another unboxing and review video. This time it's of an original Sinclair ZX Spectrum home personal microcomputer. Well, personal computer, as is mentioned in the bottom left corner of the box. It's an original 48k RAM model. Would have had a one year guarantee in the UK. And we have Sinclair Research Limited, 25 Willis Road, Cambridge, CB12AQ. Right on this side, we have how to set up your ZX Spectrum personal computer. Shows the contents of the box in the white outlines, and then you'll need your own TV and cassette deck for loading and recording programs as stated in the blue outlines. This side is more or less the same as the other, minus the guarantee. Oh yeah. Well, it's the same as the top. Right, so we're gonna unbox this. Yeah, we're gonna unbox this. Says me. There we go. Okay, so computer itself. And that was a little bit bent because I had to replace the keyboard membrane myself as the original had died which is a very common flaw in buying a second hand spectrum. Let me see we have a bus connector, DC 9 volt, electrical input, TV output and data input and output. It's a small computer it's, it's easy to see why they were called microcomputers in those days because uh, yeah, it's pretty small. It's only, perhaps only slightly wider than a jumbo calculator. And you've got that rather cool dark side of the moon aesthetic, the spectrum on black. Must be a Cambridge thing. Here we have the Sinclair. Introduction ZX Spectrum Manual. Let's have a quick flick through this. Then we have the main manual, which is basic programming, and um, all home computers back in the day would have some sort of basic programming manual. Uh, the Acorn Electron that I reviewed a few years back had something very much like this. 
So this is basically teaches you how to program the basic. It also has a little bit about um, ZAE assembly at the back as well, which is um, interesting to say the least. So yeah, there's a lot of this in there. Yeah, how to write a song in basic. How the memory works, how it can be addressed, and all that kind of thing. Um, not sure if this was actually originally included. I got this with the Spectrum when I bought it, but I'm not really all that sure if it came with it when it was bought brand new from the original retailer. Or if this was added in by the previous owner, I don't know. It's called Software Supermarket, and it's very much that 3D Lunar Attack, Titanic, the first talking graphic adventure. When you use the cover speech synthesizer. Paint box, machine code. Bacon egg snatches, Charky egg. There's a few old classics here, isn't there? Really deep space. Phoenix. <laughs> I suppose it's a little bit like the arcade game Phoenix. Oh, Saber Wolf. Well, at least it ain't Cockatini Wolf. Death Chase. 3D Death Chase. Set Willy. The sequel to Manic Miner. Hunter Killer. Seems to be the first real computer war game. The war of the Worlds. Here's the cover speech synthesizer. Yeah, 
is that. After that we have the leads that are needed to connect the Sinclair to your tape deck. I've got two of them in here. TV cable. software starter pack which is a free cassette that would come with the spectrum when bought at retail uh, this is another game that I picked up for it flight simulation by Scion 48k RAM computers. And at last but not least, the power lead. Plug has been replaced because it's illegal to sell electronics without fuses in England now. I expected. And that's it, that's all the contents inside the box. For those who want a little extra, we have a few more accessories inside this box. I have messed up the keys. A nice boxed copy of the legend in the making. Spectrum cassette. I like these mini PC boxes right in there. They remind really me of the PC big boxes. But they're actually not that big. Yes, I do believe this game is very popular in the Commodore 64. Dead. Available so far uh, Amiga and Atari ST owners and Amstrad. Let's get some PC. retail game. Power play joystick interface. One pin joystick to 48k bus interface. Tape deck cleaner. I've just got a whole load of blank computer types. They could be sold in WH Smith. They could be sold from inside of Boots. Chemist. That could sell like a lot of photography and computer gear as well. Soft copy brand of computer data type. They're like C15s as opposed to like the C90s that you might use for music. And we have 
have Rams Computer Center C20. Which I dare say looks very much like a soft copy type. Is that even supposed to be in there, I wonder? Maybe they're made by the same one, but yeah. Yeah, I just found another one here now. Oh, I'm just going to make a picture. So yeah, there's that. And next up we have matching Sony made cassette deck. In a sort of matte black finish. TCM 818 has a earphone, microphone, remote socket. We also have a figure 8 lead connector on the side here, so you don't have to use batteries if you don't have any. We do have an option for that here. For portable usage. And finally we have two joysticks. The first is a quick joy top star, which is a fully micro switched one. Have a look inside the transparent case. We can see the micro switches where the beige blocks are. We also have that distinctive clicking. It's fully micro switched. It's nice as well. It's got a good grip. And then we have a CPC switch underneath. So that's for Amstrad CPC, and that's switches for just about any other computer system you might want to use it with. And it's for 9-pin sub-D DIN connector. I do believe there is a DB15 version as well, perhaps for the IBM PC or the BBC Micro Model A. Yeah. So yeah, that's a nice stick. And of course we have this rather more common Archer joystick, which is very much based on the uh, spect uh, is it the Quick Shot, the Quick Shot Plus Two. Yeah, I think it was the Quick Shot Plus Two, or oh, Plus Two Deluxe. I'm not sure. It's a rebadged version of that. So instead, it's, it's made by you know, instead of it being Quick Shot. It's, it says custom manufactured f in China for Radio Shack. Now, in the UK, Radio Shacks were called Tandys. I believe in the US they were always called Radio Shack, but in England, the United Kingdom, they were always called Tandys. Or Tandy. So this is a leaf switch joystick. Has a nice click to it. The shaft is a bit loose. It's a nice feel to it. The grip kind of reminds me of the um, Namco Arcade Cyber Sled joysticks. We also have an auto fire off or on. There's a thumb trigger finger. That's about it, really. You've got the nice old school suction cups on the bottom. It has that really classic look, whereas the Quick Joy has rather more of a, a vaguely IBM-ish sort of look to it. And that's it. Ten programs. Thank you for watching. Take care. And I'll see you again in another video. Alright, keep rocking, guys. Rock on, fellow souls.